Howdy, this is Terry, and I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to click that like button and look at the description of this video. I have all kinds of links, and on my homepage, you'll see a bunch of playlists for how I lost my weight. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I know it's funny lighting. Um, oh, that does look funny. Look how white my hair looks. I'm under, I have like a mixture. Let me just show you. I have a mixture of soft white and then daylight lights. I can't stand daylight lights, but I can't stand the, the soft light ones. But look at me. I look funny. Well, that's what it is. So we're going to just have to look funny. Anyway, I want to show you my swag from the convention. Let's look at it. But uh, Suzanne and I, we made sure we we got um, got stuff for our team. It was great. She would go through, because, you know, she's good at picking things out that people would like. So she'd go through and like these. And she said, Terry, I think the team would like these. It's a book, but it is a book of post-it notes. So it's got the big post-its, little, and then the little bitty post-its. She said, I think the team would like this. So I, I went to the vendor, and I'm like, hey, I'm really, I said, this may be too much, and it's okay if you have to say no, but we have 14 team members, which we do, um, back at home, and they didn't get to come on this convention. Would you, by chance, happen to have 14 of these that I could take? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So they did, and I said, okay, now, tell me about your product. <laughs> so that's how we did it. She'd see what, we, what she wanted that we thought we should get them. And I would go schmooze. And uh, we're a pretty good team because she doesn't like to schmooze. So we got, and everybody got one of these. This is some spray. It's like spray hand sanitizer. So uh, everybody got some of this. And um, got enough for everybody. And then, like I said, a couple extra for me. <clears throat> or, yeah, yeah, two extra for me. Then, so about... Six, seven years ago, we had somebody who comes who does our electronic medical record. And it's they have they have really, really good pens. I love these pens. So I saw them there and I was like, hey, you guys came to our place such and such long ago. And um, and I really, really love your pens. Would I be able to get some? And they said, sure. So I got some in, then I walked by later and found some. Later on, I saw the company who we actually have our electronic medical records with. Well, I said, I said, guys, we have 14 staff back home and they didn't get to come. And I think it'd be really cool if they each got a pin <coughs> of the EMR that we use. So would you, would you have 14 of them? They gave me a little baggie and I swear it was that big, that big around filled with pins. So yeah. So I was like, score! So I think each nurse got two or three of these. Then um, <clears throat> I got this one. It's called 988. That's the Missouri, it's the Missouri Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. They could call and chat 988. Um, oh, this is another just like a notebook that I got. Um, that's from the company that we got our thing for. And of course, the months of educational stuff. And, and stuff. I don't even know what's in this thing. <clears throat> a book. I showed y'all this book. Got that in the first day. Um, oh, I got a cool rock. It's not here, but it's a rock. And it's um, it's Hell Hugs, Hope, and Help. Signature Psychiatric Hospital in KC in Liberty, Missouri. So anyway, but it was a rock and it was a real smooth rock. So I used it um, sometimes to kind of rub whenever I got a little anxious. Um, got this. I think this is some chapstick. Let's find out. Yeah, lip balm. Smell real good. We smell my lips. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> keychain, real cute. These are cute little keychains. And it says, you are enough. 
they had a bunch of different ones. Like some said, you're enough, you're chosen, you're, I don't know, beautiful, blah, blah, blah. We did not give these out. Like we didn't read them and decide what bag was going to who. We just dropped them in the bags of all the things that we brought them. One of my nurses, she pulled it out. She's like, oh, I'm like, what? She's like, well, that's real, um, you know, that tells me what you think of me. I'm like, what's it say? She says, you are you. <laughs> that's terrible. But anyway, yeah, so her said, you are you. Meanwhile, mine says, you are enough. And God love her. She's like, you are you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, then I got the brain squeezy and got this real pretty pin. It's a, it's a pin. Let's see. How does it work? Is it a turning? Is it a, oh, oh, that's weird. Usually you push the, push this, but no, you slide this up and down. It's pretty. So it's a pin and a stylus. And then I got a new chip clip. It's a magnet one so I could stick it up. But anyway, so that's my swag from the trip. So how about we get our supper together? Okay, yeah, cause this sure makes my hair look white. Here's a song that's in my head. I'm a man without conviction. I'm a man who doesn't know how to sell the contra contradiction. You come and go, you come and go. Karma, 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 chameleon. Come and go. You come and go. Love it be easy if your colors were like my dreams. Red, gold, and green. Oh, look. Red, gold, and green. Every day is like survival. Survival. You're my lover, not my rival. Every day is like survival, survival. You're my lover, not my rival. All right, now let's get our food going. We got our two eggs, and we're going to go ahead and put in our cheese. I know people might think, girl, you eat the same thing all the time. Well, yeah, because... I know the calories are just where they need to be, and it's helping me to maintain, and I'm good with that, man. I'm good with that. Um, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of bacon pieces. Bloop. That was good this morning, mixed in my eggs. I would add salt if I remember. Let's see if I will. All right, so there's some salt. I put in my salsa. I'm a man without conviction. I'm a man who doesn't know how to sell the contradiction. Good job, Terry Bear. <coughs> come and go. Come, 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 chameleon. Come and, where's my little deal? Where's my daily? My daily? I need my daily. Okay, so there's my eggs and my salsa and my cheese. So I'll put that right over here for a minute. Now we're going to get our little bitty little jobber with avocados. Come and go. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Every day is like survival. Survival. You're my lover. Not my rival. We got some uh, uh, meatballs. How about I slow look? Scoot a little closer to you. So <clears throat> we're going to do a mixture. And um, we're going to do some maple brown cheese. Here now. Come on now. Don't be tricking me. Don't be putting me in the trick bag. Put a little of this on each of them. Yep, yep. And, and, and we're going to mix in some hickory. Because I want to. I just want to. I just. 
Come on now, fella. Don't be arguing with me. We ain't got time to be having a dis dispute. So some hickory. All right, there we go. Good enough. So there we go. There it is. That's what we're taking tomorrow for lunch. Now, <clears throat> tomorrow I am going to um, um, a thing after work. Um, you know, I told y'all in the last video, and it's for, you know, to see who wins employee of the year. I would poop my pants if I won. My, my, my team said I should practice a speech award. I said no, because then I would just get my hopes up. And that's not very nice. So, <clears throat> I'll just stand up there and smile real pretty if they call my name. But I don't think they will, because like I said, there's people who've been up. They've been... <clears throat> Working there for 20 years. Trust me. Trust me. All right. Okay. So we got our salad. <clears throat> got our little paper on it. Nope. 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 Okay. We're going to zero it out. And <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get my seasonings on it. Every day is like survival. Survival. Everything bagel. You're my lover, not my rival. Some Greek seasoning. A little bit of adobo seasoning. Some paprika. Be so sweet, I heard you say. Damn Okay, I'm gonna do this. I don't know why. I'm gonna put a little of this bear rub on here. I put a little bear rub on my on my bur on my on my meatballs. I got those meatball ideas when I made them. I got that from Miss Lori because Lori was making them for one of her one of her weekend meal preps. Her freezer broke. Oh wait, I can't use you. Um, her freezer died, and all her meat was um, in the freezer. Can you imagine? I would die. I would just. I would be. I would be so devastated and mad. Oh, I'd be madder than a wet hen. I'd come on here and tell you guys all about it. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, this was 8-1. I bet you we're going to be done by 10-1. All right, so there's some veggies. Let's go on and zero it out. Toot, toot. All right, we've got our dressing. I added in a little bit of Skinny Girl, the, uh, what's that one? The uh, poppy seed in here with the other stuff. Boy, I don't know why you're standing down there. So yesterday, <clears throat> I'm kind of wondering if tomatoes is what made him sick last time. Last night I was standing here and um, I gave him a couple tomatoes. And, uh, well, you all saw it. And you know what? Last night he was doing that drooling thing and was real, just looked really like he felt really bad. And I was like, well, ain't that something? I bet that, um, well, I don't know, but I'm wondering if it's tomatoes. Now, I did look, and tomatoes, I got to take a couple extra spoons because I used a couple at work. Um, anyway, I said, well, the Google didn't say that uh, tomatoes are poisonous to dogs. But, you know, sometimes dogs are poisonous. Something is poisonous to them, even when, you know, just like, you know, some people have a, peanut allergy or whatnot. So anyway, so I told Sammy he ain't getting no more dad gum tomatoes for a while. And if he don't if he doesn't get all um if he doesn't get all drooly again then he'll never get another one. But if he does get drooly then I'll know he ate Lord only knows what out in that backyard. Squirrel poop who knows what. Dog poop, rabbit poop, whatever kind of poop. I'm sure he's eating it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for breakfast. Hope, hope you're not eating while I'm talking about the dog eating poop. Okay, bye. Hey, I want to say thank you to Deb P. I, I had totally forgotten that I had these peppers all cut up this weekend. And I haven't, oh, that's not going to be. And I haven't been doing, I, I got to wash that. Shoot. Anyway, I haven't been taking any peppers. And I had some jicama cut up. Come on, fella. I had some jicama cut up, too. But I did not bring it. I'm telling you what. I had it already. I just wasn't thinking. Sometimes I wonder about myself. I bet sometimes y'all wonder about me, too.
it sometimes you're watching you're like uh, uh terry Ter terry terry you forgot you forgot something and you know what else i forgot and you all might have seen um i also forgot to put some guacamole on my avocado i'm telling y'all i'm slipping i am slipping work's been a little bit more um stuff going on so i yeah let's blame that let's not blame it on me and my lack of lack of remembering um i had forgotten so usually when i store these vegetables i have a pepper towel in it well now listen fella we ain't got time for your shenanigans so get your act together anyway i got a pepper towel in it and now it can kind of soak up the moisture so okay i'm gonna put a lid on this and we're taking this with me tomorrow you know i really didn't even need this you know what i should have done was this it'll take up less space in my lunch box I know, I know, I'm dirtying up all kinds of stuff, but it's all in the name of space in my lunchbox, so yeah, so I'm adding this to my lunchbox, and we'll be eating on this tomorrow too, sorry, I forgot, I can't believe it, Terry, Terry, Terry. Melissa Aragon, you asked about the little skillet on my stove, I found this in some, <clears throat> I don't even know where, it's got a little tea light, and you put wax in it. And you light the tea light and it melts the wax. As much as I love cast iron, I had to have this in my life. I saw that as the cutest little thing. Hang on, I'll light it. There you go, it's lit. It's like a little campfire. It's campfire and then it'll melt down the wax. So, yeah, I got that because I thought, as much as I love cast iron, there, there, there. I got this little one too. This is a 3X. I think I got this at a thrift store. That was not one that was like in the family. But um, yeah, because I figured I got cast iron there, cast iron up there, cast iron over there. We know I love my cast iron. So uh, yeah, I just thought that was the cutest little thing. Hey, so I've got my eggs that I'll be eating this morning and my uh, avocado. And I did go back and put some of my seasoning in it. So. All right, that's breakfast. See y'all at lunch. Okay, lunchtime. I told y'all that uh, I packed some extra peppers and jicama because I totally forgot about them. So I'm glad. I was reading comments and somebody asked, how do you store your jicama? And I'm like, well, son of a gun, Terry. We totally forgot about the jicama. So, man, I got it added to my salad. So I got to do this carefully so I don't flip it out on the floor. Let's get a bite here. Don't spill it. Don't peel it, Terry. Don't peel it. Mm-hmm. 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 Piece of jicama. I like jicama. And, um, mm -hmm. my, uh, meatballs that I made after watching Lori make hers. Mm-hmm. Barbecue sauce is good on it. I bought two apples today just because I wanted to be a rebel. All right. <clears throat> like I said, I don't know how supper is going to go because of the um, being at the special event, but... When I'm home, I will be eating something before I go, so I'll show you that. All right, bye. So it's a few minutes after four. I'm home. I'm going to eat <clears throat> three burgers, and I have like probably the equivalent of one piece of that meat jerky I made. So I'm going to eat that. I'm not going to add any sauces or any veggies because when I go I gotta make I'm gonna make a plate so I can pick and I might get a piece of chicken and pull the skin off because it's gonna be fried so I might get a piece of chicken pull the skin off and you know pick at some of the meat I don't know what I'll have I don't know if I'll be able to just take a picture or what exactly don't worry I'm not done I, we gotta get made up but Right now, I want to eat because I'm going to, I got my alarm set for 4.30 to 
start cleaning up and getting ready to go. So I'll probably leave my house. It takes about 40 minutes to get there. So I'll leave my house at five. So I should be there by 540, 545, which is good because the cash bar at 530 and dinner at six. Well, I don't need to be drinking. Because if I drink, I'll tell you your business and your business and your business and your business and their business. I tell everybody's business. Loose lips. Very loose lips. And you know, loose lips sink ships. I don't know what that really means. But anyway, so. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I don't want to drink any while I'm there. My boss is going to be there. And our CEO will be there. And probably the financial person will be there. And then a whole bunch of other supervisors and other staff. I got to think what I'd say if they actually did say I won. I ain't writing up a speech. Like I said, I know lots of people have been there a lot longer than me. But I still want to be prepared. Because what if I have to get up and say thank you for my employee of the quarter? So, I don't know. <clears throat> I'll think on it. It's a 40-minute drive. I can think on on my drive. But we know I'll, whatever it is I think of, I'll forget. But, all right. So, I'm going to eat these burgers. They're room to No, they're cold, actually. I ain't even going to heat them up. Just going to eat them like that. I'll put a little seasoning on it. Let's see. Hang on. Um, I'm not Kinder's with fire garlic. I know I'm not showing it to you. I'll show you when I get it on there. I'll put a little bit of salt on it. All right. Got a little carried away with the Kinders. Mm -hmm. They went from being brown to orange, but that's all right. So I'm going to eat these. I'm going to go sit in my chair. I think I'm caught up on comments. That's good because I won't be home. You know I get panicky. So, and this weekend, I don't know how the comments are going to go with my sister. But I think she's she's in town because of a class reunion. So I'll have times when they're not in the house. So I'll be able to check on comments. Anyway, okay. I'll try to show you what I eat. Try to angle you to the other person's tray plate to see what they have. All right, bye. This might be weird, but that's what all they had. I'll show you fast. And that was. The so you saw the food they had. It was salad. Oh my gosh, I could tell they had sugar, sugar like lots of sugar in the dressing. Um, I did eat a couple bites of it, and then I was like, "Oh yeah, I better not eat any more of this." I'll be bouncing off the walls. And then they had those vegetables. And they had um, chicken. And then they had some pasta stuff. And they had the fried chicken. I think I already said that. Anyway, then they had desserts. So I had a piece of chick, uh, chicken thigh. And I pulled the skin off. I may have got one little bite of the chicken skin. But that's alright. And then I ate the vegetables. And then like I said, probably about four or five bites of the salad. And I was like, mm, yep, nope, nope. So anyway, it's a good thing we had our burgers before we went. So okay, I will see you next time. Bye.